Hello, 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 and welcome to ECL Division One action here with Core versus STDB. Core versus Rex coming into this one looking very strong. We're joining Chucky in his squad right now. Raisin's going to take the helm of this one. Uh, for the Allies' side, Werner Voss has taken the helm for now um, and expect to see a switch out. Uh, depending on how well the start goes um, with getting Logical Lee back into the commander's seat after a short while. Logical Lee's doing some important uh, missions for the team right now, but he's he's expected to switch back into that commander role for the boys in orange. For the blueberries here, you can see the supply truck's already Getting ready at the start. Going to mid cap's gonna be a recon tank and a light tank. You got a medium coming up behind there. Uh, a second light tank also coming out here. Interesting to see these roots come out from core. I'm um, already dropping supplies deep into enemy territory there in preparation for maybe a garrison uh, somewhere in this area right here. Next point after the midpoint for the allies is pumping station though, so that's gonna be a pretty wide garrison. Maybe to get up for a, an attack on a 502nd and, and enable some flanks in here to pumping station on the sector. Pretty traditional rollout. Yeah, not a lot of people coming down that main road here. Other teams, uh, teams usually opt for the north and the south options to bypass the just uh, crux of artillery right here that we usually see. However, as we zoom out, we can see there's not a lot of artillery landing just yet. You can hear those guns firing. Will anybody land a, tr a lucky truck snipe onto the point? You can see rocket snipes coming in. Ho, 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 ho. That rocket snipe. I had to check the map for a second there. Look at these rocket snipes coming in. The Puma actually taking quite a fair bit of damage. They're not getting fully taken out, though. Kaiser and Deucin make it on to point. We actually have a POV of Kaiser. So we can see how it looks from his perspective on point here. Core controlling sector. However, two members of SDB have actually made it onto point here. Let's go on board with one of them. Lass mich durch. Kurz. Im Süden ist schon gar nicht heiß. Digga, was? Hier ist der Puma. Ja. Hier ist der Lux bei mir. Hey, die Alter, ich hab alles aufgefahren über. I think Kaiser's a little confused as to what's going on. There's not many core on point. However, they are dominating the south of point. As we zoom out, there are two, two me, uh, sorry, light tanks. And, well, there was one recon tank. The core has stuffed the south and has complete control over the south of point here. Uh, now the Panzer IV does make his way onto point right here, though. He's going to look to take out that Stewart. But the first point going towards core here with a 3-2 start to this one. Core really only putting one or two bodies on point. They put the recon vehicle and the two light tanks still on point, and that is what's going to win them the midpoint here. Uh, most of their infantry onto the south side of point. You can see they have already taken so much ground, um, have completely cut off STDB on the back side here with their control right now, and just absolutely dominate the south side of town center. Uh, that's not what I've seen before. 
only sending two light tanks, reinforcing it with the recon, and then sending your medium tank as a, as a third kind of tertiary option there. Uh, the allies do lose a light tank, and SDB is going to have to set up now on the defensive over here on pumping station. No quick play coming up from Core just yet. We can uh, take a look at the map to see how they have their attack set up and going forward here. Uh, Para is going to be on the north side. You just saw him there in sector. Uh, gradually making his way downtown here. We have two more squad leads on this north side here, Cyrix and Lucky Gummy. Now, I'm not too sure if they're both going to go north. I think maybe one will go north with Para here, and one will try and stay on the, on the south side of the river and contain in here. Uh, there is some pressure on point. Of course, from core they don't have, um, they don't have uh, some some stuff on the backside is hot here. It's interesting. I know around the church there's some people there, but they're actually losing control of some of these back line uh, garrison positions, maybe uh, potential garrison positions at least. So we're gonna have to go back over to that one. But on the attack core don't have too much going right now. If we swing back over onto town center though, because uh, this is what was concerning here. If I am core, Ludiga is versing archery as a sin. I'm going to take him out there on the backside. Ludiga with a really nice position as a squad lead. Now, what is he going to get up to? Going to get an OP down? Maybe look for a, a sneaky Gary over the wall in here. Just clearing it out right now. Wonderful see him drop a OP out. Looks like that's what he's going to be doing. Dropping an OP down there with very good position onto town center here. Uh, Ludiga is going to be definitely applying some pressure. Kaiser is still up on the midpoint. And he's taking out Will on the midpoint. Let's switch back over to his POV to see that from his perspective. Uh, he is the lone survivor on point right here, though. Der Lux fährt hier vor. Ah, jetzt haben sie mich. Finally going down there is Kaiser. Uh, you can see the medium tanks and those light tanks still playing really close on the cap point here. Now Ludiga has gotten some spawns in on the backside. Pressure Scout's going to hop on board with his MG. Going to take out Fifi in the back line. Ludiga looking to expand this pressure. Maybe overrun the core defenses on the north. Instead of going straight for an attack, you can see Ludica double, doubling back, maybe going for a deep carry. However, on the north side here, Christian, Russell, um, and the rest has to be definitely bringing the fight here to Core. Uh, Core is in an all right position. They don't have complete control. They do have a light tank on the north that's going to help them out there, but a constant pressure coming in from the SDB crew now. Can they translate their good positioning on the backside from Ludica's, Ludica's squad into cap pressure? That's the real question. Um, as Core is looking pretty comfortable uh, absorbing that pressure right now. On the opposite side of things here, on the front line, Jay Thompson trying to find holes in this SDB defense. Now, I do like what Candyman is doing on the north side here, going very wide, getting around behind the Core uh, players here. Will he be able to get a deep garrison possibly on the north side here and use that to stage defensive operations, coming in behind the attacking players and clearing them out? We'll have to wait and see if he's able to do that. Captain Deutsch for SCDB now taking out one member of court in the field. Never a, never ideal to run through the middle of the field. That's going to give Para some uh, respite there as he doubles back and goes through the cover. Candyman's really going far out there. Um, and look who it is. Again, Crusader on point. My God, how many times is he going to do this? This is not the first time, ladies and gentlemen, that on Carrington, we have watched Crusader take that route to get into point. Now, what can he do on point once he gets in it? That's the real question here. He's going to find his way in. Ooh. <laughs> 
Boldo is going to jump out of the window there. I was I was hoping for a knife, but it was a, uh, a Garand to the face instead. Crusader is going to go down. Luke on the backside actually cops the OP and is going to take it out plus some. No garrison going up. Supplies are dropped. And good defending from STDB there. They're not going to be that easy. Not going to be that easy at all. Now, the real question is, uh, just checking the map right here, did Luke get the OP? Yes, it looks like he did. Because sometimes you'll see Crusader rotate his OP a little closer after he stages where he wants to build a Gary. But that did not happen, and his OP is gone. But the, the concerning part now is going to be this northern push. You can see here Crusader's rotated up north here with Paralutiga going to do his part up here to take that out. They're very close to the OP. Second take down there for Ludiga. Has to watch out peeking that corner again, though. The MG42 is going to be an issue. Uh, we actually have TRAA on board here with us. We can hop on board here and spot this little fight out. Ludiga's going to attempt to put a OP up back here. Um, just has to watch out on the backside. Crusader's going to come right across and overrun that almost immediately. Oh, Crusader bypasses right here. TRAA is going to get in a defensive position. Taking out some supplies, actually. Ludiga knows about this one, though. TRAA is going to be a victim right there. Nice play by Ludiga. Um, Crusader does make it through, though. Oh, does he get spotted out, too? Ludiga's not looking, it seems like. Shots come from behind Crusader here. Crusader is free. Now, this is the this is the issue right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, Roy Nelson is watching on the backside, though. He's going to take Crusader out. That was the key right there. Uh, good, you know, defensive lines here for SDB, not letting anyone buy. And honestly, this little attack from Core is over right here on both sides, south and north. Now, on the south side, though, the, the attack from Crusader might have ended quickly. However, the position for Core has strengthened immensely here. You can see Cemetery is is contested right now. SDB is trying to hold on to the front side of Cemetery. Mr. Pink, though, causing some issues here. Kaiser defending with the rocket, not going to get the takedown. Going to need to clear this off, though, if they want to hold this section of the map. Respawn comes in from Bofrost squad. Guys are going to go for the nade now. Uh, the issue here is that 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 OP needs to get rotated fast. Uh, Zoom holding a tight angle on the other side. Going to make it very difficult. Blue Tear is going to be pushing that OP. And I fear that that is going to be the end here uh, of this STB OP. Down it goes. Bofrost is going to need to put another one up here. Over the wall comes Blue Tear. Ofra standing on his head there stays up for now. How much longer can that last though? He needs to get that OP back up and get some more rotations in for his squad right here. Gonna be pushing and going aggressive and going down. Bully looking like he's taking that one. Maybe trading her with Herald. I'm not too sure. Uh, but Core getting ever closer here to pumping station on the attack. Uh, all that kind of stands beside them now is the, the Luke squad. However, Pixel Smasher's there too. And there is kind of a, a haste from that squad that just went down to push back out to the previous position. But while this is all happening, and even though there is a tank down here on the right side, uh, Core have shifted and are now pushing very, very hard down the canal. Uh, no one really defending this side of the canal. They should fairly easily take... Uh, uh, OP positions on these hedges behind this uh, little house here and the one to the right of it right there. And that's going to be, uh, you know, a stone's throw away from pumping station. So you're talking uh, airhead potential, like a, like a push on to point with airhead behind for a close spawn, bombing run, definitely bombing run potential, or just a, a massive smoke and uh, smash campaign from the artillery. We'll see what happens. Uh, good for SCDB, though. They managed to take back control of the cemetery here. So that's definitely going to be another buffer zone. I'm going to change the title of the... Uh... While that's going on, let us hop. Ooh, where did he go?
He's not here anymore. I guess he went down. He was right in front of us. Kaiser. Let's hop back on board with Kaiser. I have FPS. This is like a That's why I have to give him a little bit of a Yeah, I have to give him a little Yeah, that was already bewusst. That was already the whole time bewusst. I just got call. Da vorne schon. Hier dran. Die ersten Nades fallen schon vor in, in Hard Trap. Ja, Versucht euch aufzuschließen. Ja, es ist. Wir müssen vor. Wir müssen vor, wir müssen vor, die Arti kommt. Hab hier einen. Ja, keine Ahnung, vor dir. Hier ist einer, Doktor. Ach, ich wurde die Mauer gewolltet, scheiße. Mhm. Hab ich. Friedhof verloren. Ne, da war gerade einer. Panzer 4 Abelmark, Panzer 4 Abelmark. Guys, we're going down there. Kind of an odd situation. Not something I've ever seen before, but if you look right here, you can see there's two light tanks on point here on town center. And if we look at the map, Core is actually abandoned. Both their light tanks here left a skeleton crew on town center and redeployed those, those bodies over to pumping station. Whether in maybe recon, maybe pa uh, Panthers. And it just has a quick option to redeploy these light tanks here instead of losing them. I guess they're just kind of saving them. Saving them for later, uh, for a rainy day even. Uh, really interesting play here from, from Core. Not something I think I've ever seen a team do before. Abandon their tanks, leaving them there, letting those players move on and possibly come back and utilize those tanks again in the future. And now back on a pumping station, pressure is mounting here. You can see Core has completely taken over the cemetery. They're pushing up the road on both sides right here. SCDB needs to collapse their lines very soon. Otherwise, they're going to be really in danger of losing the pumping station here. Dorbian, Soviet Viking, Mr. Pink, Bully, Icarus, Crusader, all in close proximity to point. Uh, little Stewart on the backside is getting bullied a little bit here, uh, taking some long range shells from artillery, Panzer IV, and AT rockets. Two crew come out. Crusader in the backside. Oh, gets shut down. Russo with a crucial takedown right here. The Panzer IV just cannot find the right angle there to hit that Stewart. Um, and it's it's do or die here for STDB. They really need to do something to relieve this pressure on the backside and allow uh, some respawns or rotations from core to get off their point here. Uh, Soviet Viking in the point right now. TRR, TRAA, uh, Captain Fett also right here. Not a whole squad on point at the same time though. So it's been rather... It's been okay, you know, defending here. It's, it's definitely close to point, not ideal, but it, once Core can get like six plus players onto point, that's when we're going to start to see that cap progress really start to uh, take off here. Bombing run plus airhead coming into point right now. Soviet Vikings already on point right here. Our head's going to drop on the backside. This is very bad news here. There is a 76 on point. Um, and that airhead, not too sure where it landed. Checking the map right here. I uh, landed on the back side. It is overrun for now, but can Core keep it up? You can see the airhead on the other side of the wall here. Mars Mike is going to be right on top of it. Spawn still coming in from the OPs of STDB. 76 right on point, defending close. No nonsense defending there from Doctor. Gonna 
yeet one of the core members out with that rocket second rocket used right here mars mike not too sure if he got that nade off there we go nice defense here from mars mike that was exactly what the doctor ordered here for STDB. 276 is on point Ooh, this is very close grouping of 76s they cannot keep those tanks right next to each other a bully might make them pay for it He's got a satchel with their name on it. Uh, on the back side, though, of course, really starting to make this dominance uh, known. With their control on the back, they push off that Stuart there. Bully's going to go down, going for that legendary hero satchel. Fifi's still in the mix as course starts to really push not only that advantage on the front side, but off to the flanks also. Almost full control of the back flanks. We're about two minutes away from that. So SDB really needs to hurry up with this defense. You can see them respawning right now, trying to get behind Core's lines right here and clear them out. Uh, they're going to need to do really well with those uh, takedowns, though, if they want to accomplish that. Fleeter, Espresso, Bommel, Catton, Icarus, all really close to point right now. Down goes the defensive OP for SDB. Captain Deutsch is going to have to replace that one. Bommel over the wall, the next one in. Can he get a satchel off? That's going to be key right there. There's the satchel on the wall. Captain Deutsch is going to need to get that OP back up, though, if he wants to rotate more bodies in. Uh-oh, here comes Persistent Strike. Where's it going to land? In the middle of the two. However, it only gets one, so... A little lucky there for STDB. I think their luck's about to run out, though, because that satchel is definitely going to take Captain Deutsch out when it goes. And down he goes. Last defender on the hard cap is gone. Olu going to get hit by Artie. Almost full control of the point here by Core. STDB is hanging on by a thread. What do they have? They could bombing run. They could potentially bombing run that whole southwestern side of point. That might buy them some time. Uh, if they have an airhead up, definitely need to use it on point here. Uh, first things first, though, they need to get some bodies back in that strong point. They might have just uh, shot themselves in the foot a little bit here, though, because you can see the way the wire is set up. They're not going to be able to just run into point. They're going to have to go on the backside over the wall. Bombing run's going to drop right there. Doesn't get too many. Uh, definitely not current with the core positions that was about five minutes ago there with that course already on the back side of point right here 50 percent cap progress on the pumping station crusader's gonna crush an op come on the back side here he's gonna get the knife off no he goes down and falls on top of madras bully's not gonna make the same mistake though he's gonna go for the satchel onto the 76 gets the takedown crew hops out out timer with the takedown now can he defuse the satchel. He can't get to it. No, he can't get to the satchel. And he's going to get taken out. Good satchel placement from STDB. Um, if I'm sh if I'm that crew, though, I'm furious right now. I don't think they would have been able to get it regardless. I think the core was there to rotate. But, you know, the satchel has to be accessible for people to defuse it. Unfortunately, he just couldn't get an angle. Uh, last squad on point. However, it is going to be too late as it is already 4-1 here for Core. STDB trying to hold on to this one. Now they have one squad in play. Can they do anything else here to get more bodies in? I don't know. Rotating over to 5 0 second start. And you can see Core is already making some cap progress here. Uh, nice Lucky Gummy Angry Bird recon denying the back access to point here. Uh, Bonsai trying to push in. There is also a recon tank on point. This is, uh, this is interesting here. Let's go on board. Highly effective against infantry is that main gun. Going to have to watch out not to get stuck here. Experienced core drivers, though. They know what they're doing now. What can the allies do to come back from this? Well, uh, luckily, the, they're, they're not backed into a corner. They did get a decent defensive last point in 502nd. Uh, it's not like we're all up on the north side here. So there's a lot of space, and there's quite a few angles, especially from the, the, allies, um, the allies' HQ, where they should be able... Oh, they should be able to get out of this one. A little... 
Greyhound versus Puma action right here. The Puma's gonna win that one. Rocket comes in, drops just a little short, and that's a that's a meme looking uh, fire pattern there on the on the wheel. <laughs> Looks a little funny. Second rocket coming in way short of that Puma. Uh, Puma gonna win the duel of the recon tanks right there. Not too bad at all. Core in the driver's seat right now, taking a look at the map to see the control they have while well, they're trying to just get that northern control right now and then we'll probably see a rotation onto 50 second start already uh deep ops here from recon you can see that uh, lucky gummy's in position right here puma is just gonna be wrecking havoc in general on the southern part of the map uh oni chan also there from core two and the the frontal garrison is gonna be really nice for this they have two uh on the north and the south side already putting pressure from approximately two squads with a third and a fourth in reserve and you can rest assured when they've cleared lines up here on the back side they'll be looking to rotate on to 50 second now going up to the north side right here I just want to check out to see what SDB is doing. It's possibly a, like a counterattack uh, just at the very last breast of it. Uh, it was probably a far north Gary here, an airhead uh, looking to pressure on pumping station. Not surprising at all. Now, do they have anybody that's back here, any squad leads in a position where, where they can put immediate pressure on? No, nobody over here. Nobody over here either. It looks like the entirety of STDB is uh, kind of behind the point as it will uh, nobody deep here whatsoever to try and put some pressure on hopefully hopefully they can get some people out there though and, and this this might be a little good play from luke here he's got flank position on the core squad the whole core squad is kind of in one house right there garrison gonna be on the back side however unfortunately for luke here full squad gonna respawn now can he bypass this squad and get onto the spawn that's a real question right here Luke has a really good shot of relieving a ton of pressure right here for his team. Garrison right on the other side of the wall right here. He's going to need to go around if he wants to get on it. You can see those recon flares coming out. They're absolutely key for any front line. It's, it's kind of, it's, you know, 100% meta to have recon on your front line. Uh, it just makes it easier when you're this far in the enemy territory here. You, they don't have to go far from artillery. Unfortunately for Luke, he can't really make up his mind on which way he goes and decides to uh, stay in the same spot. Not going to get onto that Gary, so pressure is just going to keep on mounting here as Core starts to rotate some of those bodies onto the defense or onto the, from the defense onto attack. Pardon me. Uh, for the POVs today, we do have an Allies tank. Uh, we have Shanks in the Allies tank there. Looks like he's in a Greyhound again. We're going to hop on board with him and uh, see what it looks like from his POV. I heard that. I heard him go from that, sorry. I'm yeah, fine. I'm going to take a bag of It's all spring shown. Fahr er rüber, sonst siehst du nix. Ja, ich wollte aussteigen und schauen. Das habe ich gesagt, an der Hecke stehen bleiben. Na, können wir weiter am Kanal. Hier bei Gas. Nein, dritter. Jetzt vierter. Infanterie hat uns gesehen auf 1 Uhr. Ja, ja. Look gonna be a little tank hero here, Shanks, with the steward. Um, pushing really deep in an enemy lines right here. Nothing to really stop him though. If we look on the map right here, you can see long range shots from rockets is really all they have over here on the map. Um, so you know what? They they shouldn't be too bad here in terms of uh Maybe getting something done. However, unfortunately for the light tank, he doesn't spot out the garrison behind. Apologies, not a garrison. The it's just a it's just a regular old OP. However, those tank markers are going to go out, and you're going to see this 
Panther here. Um, maybe turn right north or maybe even from the south side just to take out this uh, little tank that could. Unfortunately for the steward there, he doesn't get anything of value back here. Yeah, and he goes down almost immediately. <laughs> Raisin riding the top of that Panther. But uh, Core, Core being lucky there, not losing any garrisons, not losing any uh, OPs on point to that little steward. So unfortunate there for the push from SGDB. Uh, if we're looking here on the backside, though, it looks like this southern portion of this attack is faltering a little bit here. Garrison goes down. Uh, OP spawn still coming in on point. However, this is going to be a lot of pressure relieved on back point. And this is definitely going to set core back uh, a couple minutes at least here. Bombing run going to go down onto point right now. However, with this pressure from the backside of point, uh, SCB shouldn't have too hard of a time defending this one. I mean, zooms up there, uh, but the, the immense pressure on the backside is going to really stall any kind of attack to follow up on that bombing run. Uh, zooms going to go down here. Foolish is doing a pretty good job clearing out the warehouse. Uh, has only a few more. Gets the squad lead. Can he get the OP too? Looks like he did indeed. Foolish, absolutely clearing house here on the backside. A point can go over the wall, gets one more. And that shouldn't be it for at least a little bit here from Core. They have been pushed off of the point here. SCB, this very, very encouraging signs, honestly, from SCB. Now, Core is rotating up their attack a little bit with a rotation here onto the north side. Now, north is a much harder... Uh, feat to accomplish none of that squad was able to make it through the field that's thanks to a uh, medium tank on the right hand side here of course still gonna try to push it though might need some smoke there's now three or four people just looking straight this way and especially since everyone on the back side has now rotated their their field of view over this way i don't think it'll be too hard to hold this off so props to the stb for holding this one we're about 34 minutes into and it is 4-1 here for core but you know what scb is going to have a, a little bit of a reprieve here on the backside, and they could use this to potentially make some kind of play towards pumping uh, if we go out a little further i think it's going to require definitely some squad leads getting on some trucks or some recon vehicles to get them around the map though uh core responding to to losing that offensive pressure by getting very wide it's nice to see here you can see they're not getting, you know, close to pumping station. Each squad member, each squad leader is at least 100 meters away from each other here. Uh, get as wide as possible. Cast a, a massive net around pumping station. Make sure you guys or, or they don't get overrun on the backside by anything. Uh, even going as far back as this, I'm, I'm quite surprised there's no recon or even deep squad leaders in any position here uh, to put down OPs. Core's doing a very good job of, of holding that line and 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 kind of channeling the scb team kind of where it, where they want them to go right now you can see how they're holding this kind of uh, l shape from 502nd all the way up north here to the hq and all the way across back to uh, there is a medium tank there too but just nobody here really able to break uh this kind of lock onto the spawn you can see two Two fields deep also. Siri playing in a supporting role here on the back hedgerow. If anyone gets through, uh, he'll be able to rotate and take them out. Uh, and what you're going to see Core do here is, is get around the backside in the HQ and try and get an HQ camp on and prevent SDB from this side of the map at all. So they don't really have to worry about a flank coming from over here. That's going to start with Mr. Pink here taking down Candyman. Uh, pressure is going to be under pressure too as this um, encirclement continues here from core now scb definitely going to be needing to use their remaining vehicles whether they're recon vehicles or transport vehicles uh to try and break out and get a, a couple squad leads into the fray here to relieve some pressure because the the, the crux of the issue really for scb is being that mounting pressure not being able to turn the taps off for a little bit to get a break and to reset the lines they've done a good job on the south here but the you know, can they replicate that for the north and, and can they use the time that they buy uh, from taking down those offensive pressuring garrisons to do something of their own? Boom, 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 boom on point right here. Gonna be content with going into a bush. Now he's not a squad lead, so ooh, I expect him to go over the wall right there, getting a takedown. Let's go on board.
Are you with two takedowns, Hoomple? Looking for some more copious amounts of nade spam starting off here on the backside. He's definitely run straight in and poked that hornet's nest. However, he's doing pretty well. It looks like Luke, uh, Luke takes enough damage to go down there. He's got Crux helping him out. It's too bad uh, he doesn't... Ooh, uh-oh. Little, little miscommunication there from the squad on the defensive point. Um, some people seem oblivious to the fact that there's a core member letting loose here on the point. Not a, not a huge problem for SDB. It's only one man, not a squad lead. It's too bad that's not Crusader. I would have honestly expected Crusader to be the one to make it onto point first. Uh, Fleeter, though, is going to be second over here, and he is a squad lead. Now, what can he do here? Can he get an OP up in this trench? Ooh, that would be very, very... Well, that would be very fortunate. What well, wasn't fortunate, the fact that the friendly artillery landed five feet away from him. That's got to be frustrating, not only... Not only did he make it to point, but he got taken out by Friendly Artie. On the opposite side of things, pumping station looking clear. No threat from STB just yet on this one. On the front lines, of course, doing what they do best. They're going for that, that hard camp onto the northern hq and they're they're starting to succeed with it here icarus and traa we do indeed have a pov from his point of view so we're gonna hop on board with him right now and see what it looks like down in the fields in uh scb's northern hq Ooh, just going down there. Not succeeding completely on the backside, yet there's still some fight in STDB here. However, they are getting ground down here on the front lines, rotating back down to the last point here, the fifth point. Core's going to try to break this front line again. Uh, Nero getting pretty close here. A couple other squad leads. Nothing concrete yet, though, but there isn't that many people from STB here. They're going to need some armor support also. Maybe a, a steward to come help break things up a little bit on this south side. Fleeter and Nero this time making it onto point. A little rocket snipe from long range, not going to pick off anybody. Uh, this is where it gets really serious, though. Uh, Captain's also here, Shinarshi. Making it onto point. Getting closer this time, not quite all the way there, though. The, the north side is so hard to push on. Northeast side is so hard to push on. Now, if Bommel can make it pretty deep here and they can kind of take out the hedgerows on the left side of your screen, that'll. Make it fairly easy to get onto point from the front, but still, I, I predict the, the pressure to be ramping up in the next five minutes or so. And if Core can keep that consistent pressure on with nothing relieving the backside, I don't see a way for STDB back into this game. They really need to try and get somebody behind those lines there. But Core, again, that's easier said than done. Core is so good at clearing the lines out.
We do have Kaiser POV here. He is defending in the in the south inside the factory right there. He's gonna be the last one up alive, actually. Let's hop on board and see. Well, never mind. He gets taken out. Uh, don't poke your head through the window. I guess is is the main theme right here. Otherwise, Falkenmeister Zoom is gonna click on it, and you are not gonna be there for long. Nero making some progress right here again they're getting very close just not able to get those final spawns that they like fifi and bully very close on the east side also here bully gonna go for a satchel not yet Bully getting some really good takedowns here onto point, putting a lot of pressure onto these defenders. Finally does get taken out by Midras. There is also a Stuka coming in. Ooh, that is going to be perfectly placed there. And here comes the attack. Now, SDB did make some progress on the fourth point, uh, fourth point however... That is falling sharply, and with this attack on the backside, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see this cap progress start off very quickly. You know what? That that fourth is actually pushing right now. It, it wasn't stopped by the initial defenders of core. Let's go and see what is going on over here. Is it just going to be a, a Stuart on point? It is. Hey, the little Stuart that could. He didn't make it onto point last time, but going to make it here this time. However, unfortunately... That's all there is. So Cora should be able to take this one up fairly easily. JKL, well, I take that back. Not so easy there. JKL eating the main gun of the Stewart. Now, oh, just imagine if they could have followed this up with a airhead or some other projection of force. Like, imagine, as it were, that they just brought a squad leader too, riding on the back like secondary squad leads from stdb attack squads riding on the back of that Stuart to get ops up here to attack i, I can't wait till i see that for the first time but when i do i'm gonna be so happy because the the tank successfully gets there he gets taken out but the amount of pressure that he could have exerted if only there was two squad leads with him secondary squad leads even uh would be immense airhead coming down on the back side of point right here so we can check the map to see where this airhead's gonna land really quickly that's gonna be the the front side okay well the middle let's just call it the middle no bombing run no artillery no nothing here mars mike is gonna have an easy second take on this one with a nade doesn't even look back down goes the airhead uh, kind of a wasted airhead right there crusader is going to make it onto point and there is a big push it's just a little late here from core crusader going down there's a few more pushing onto point captain looking for another op also just pulling the gun a little too early there is core but they have really nice uh, position here to just shell the point and captain's actually going to get an op up right on the point now that's not the end of the day here for sdb now if that panther is able to sit on point in one more squad like nero gets up that might be the end here for us uh until then though sdb still in this one captain's gonna get an op down right there but that's only six players that's not a huge deal at the end of this one now the panther's gonna be an issue but the advantage still is to STDB to take that Panther out. Captain Deutsch coming back up. Roy Nelson, Novers. Still much greater potential for, for infantry rotations on this one. Bombing run going to drop. Oh, that's a nice bombing run right there. Wipes out all of core on point. Unfortunately, Novers is going to have to push this one if he wants to get the OP2. Doesn't push it. 
That might come back to bite STDB in the butt right there. Mars Mike, though, over the wall. He could really save a lot of time here if he can get the satchel off onto this Panther. He's going to go for it. Over the wall, rides the wall a little bit. Mars Mike going for the plan on the satchel. I don't think the commander knows about this. Mars Mike is waiting for the run out. It doesn't come. Ricochet comes on the Panther. Mars Mike riding the top right now. Does he not have a satchel anymore? There's a second Panther over here. Oh no. I miss, I guess he didn't have a, a satchel. George Lee's gonna be very concerned he doesn't find one though. Looking underneath, looking behind. All clear for now. If Mars Mike had a satchel right there and he didn't use it, ooh, that's going to be really rough. Two Panthers, though, exerting their pressure on point. However, it's only from the northeast side. Captain hasn't been successful. His OP did get cleared. Now, Crusader is pushing. Again, more pressure mounting from the south here. This is could be the, the dagger that ends this one. If they can get the spawns and... The OP's on the other side here. Even the Garrison. Toki going for the take on the Gary. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Down goes the Garrison on the backside right here. That is going to be very, very rough to come back from. No squad leads on point right now. Looks like they might have to rotate one of their Garrisons a little further back here in the sector. Still a decent amount of troops on point right here. And this, actually, this 76 fight versus these two Panthers is going to probably decide the game right here. If the 76 can get one or both of the Panthers, I think STDB stays in this one, at least for now. But, I mean, if it goes down, do they really have a shot to come back into it? Cork can kind of just do what they will on point. I mean, they kind of are right now. STDB already off of the main buildings on point. Core have two squad leads up right on point right now. That's kind of... Ooh, down goes the first Panther, though. Nice gunning here from the 76. He needs to get out of there, though, because he cannot trade right now. They cannot afford a trade. And a really lucky ricochet right there at the last second. Going to keep this tank in it. Live to fight another day right here. They're going to need to repair and get back onto this one fast because with that takedown of... The garrison core is all over this midpoint. Bombing run going to drop again. This is going to be core's bombing run this time. Now, what can they get with it? Doesn't look like much. Might just pick off this tank right at the last second. No. Somehow the tank survives. However, STDB completely off the point. No garrison up. Multiple squad leaders on point here for core. I don't see how they lose this one. Medium going to pull up too, but that medium needs to push the point fast. However, he might just get one tapped by the Panther on the flank right here. Uh, it's now or never though for STDB. There he goes. The medium is heading in. We're going to go on board. Yeah, it didn't last for long. Panther on the left flank going to take him out right away. And Core is going to finish this one. A 5-0 with 39 minutes to go here. GG. Well played, everyone. Core doing really good on that last point. Absolutely dominating it. You gotta wonder, if Mars Mike had that satchel, would he been able to take it out? Could the other tank have been taken out also? I mean, that 76 won the 1v1. Hindsight, of course, is 20-20. I mean, SCDB is stopping that cap, I think, just by virtue of having... The 76 there. <laughs> they need bodies, though. They need to get more bodies here. Nice pushing the back line. Chucky defending. There it is. The 5 nil. Four going to take the dub on that one. GG. Well played, everybody. We'll take a look at the last.